What's good, my people back home? Everybody around the world. This your boy Jace Mace. Just checking in. It's been a long time. So I thought I'd uh, let you guys take a ride with me through Kita Kyushu, Fukuoka, Japan. We can talk about some stuff at the same time. Some things that I've been up to, some things that I've been doing what's going on around the world. Just a little chat. Being out here, away from everybody, you know, it gets a little, a little lonely with all my homeboys back home. Shout out to my boy Mark and Tech, my partner in crime. Ain't seen him in a minute, but you know, we still recording, we still doing music. We're gonna have some stuff coming out to you real soon. serves me correctly. Me, Tech, and Steph Pockets. Now, the first time we met Steph Pockets was actually out in Japan. We were doing the tour for Moon Tracks. Now that's a whole nother story in itself. I don't know if a lot of people know, but uh, when we first released our first album called State of the Art on Goon Tracks, we took the advance money because we wanted to come to Japan and do a tour. So we took the advance money and used it on the airfare and the hotel. We stayed at a little hostel. And uh, Goon Tracks, I remember them specifically telling us, don't do it, don't come out here. It's not gonna be successful, you guys. We can't be responsible for you. We can't support you, all this other shit. And you know what we told them. We just do it ourselves, you know? So we hit up some folks in Japan, set up the tour, and then, boom, it was history. We were one of the first hip hop acts on Goon Tracks, probably the first hip hop acts, because they weren't interested in, in bringing out hip hop at the time. They didn't want to bring out any of their hip hop acts. We were probably like the third hip hop act on Goon Tracks to release the album, State of the Art. We released that album, did the tour by ourselves, financed everything, and then now, a couple years later, now they want to do In Your Mellow Tone all the time. You know, they got the In Your Mellow Tone tours and everything. See, it just, just goes to show you, you believe in yourself and you can do it yourself. Don't ask for anybody to give you anything or do anything. Now, if you hold on for a second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get me something to eat. Cause it's uh, like almost 10 o'clock in the morning here. So hold on for a second. want to be doing the In Your Mellow Tone stuff. And they was hating on your boys for wanting to come out there and, and do a show. Shout out to Tomo from Stillamo, Tomo, and Moto. They really hooked us up when we were out there. First time, helped us get all the shows, took care of us, showed us around Tokyo, Shibuya, everything. 
shout out to Tuno Key and Moto in the human beatbox. So let's let's take a trip. So I have to make this left here. It's like crazy narrow road. There's a lot of roads in here. It's two ways, but you gotta maneuver. You gotta work together with the other car or else it's not gonna work. Not gonna work without that. So here we go. Okay. You gotta be alert at all times when driving in Japan. You got pedestrians all over the place, cars, old folks. I think Japan's like one of the oldest countries in the world, if not the oldest country in the world. Right, you go to the left. You gotta work together. These roads are only built for one car, but they're two ways. So yeah, so many old people out here. Crazy dangerous. You got pedestrians, this big ass truck knows he shouldn't be coming down this road. everywhere you go in Japan. It's crazy, these narrow roads. Come on, hurry up. One thing I hate about being out here, another thing I hate about being out here is, y'all know I'm a big Bears fan, NFL fan. I gotta wake up then. If I wanna watch the games, look at these people. Another thing, they just ride and walk in the middle of the street. You gotta be alert at all times. But I'm a big Bears fan, y'all know that. So, I gotta wake up. If I wanna watch the games, I gotta wake up at 1.30 in the morning. So I wake up at 1.30 in the morning, Watch the pregame. Then the game starts at two. Lasts till about five. Then I go back to sleep then. But man, oh man. Oh, I hate waking up at 1.30 to watch the NFL. talk on the radio it's like probably 10 12 minutes of music and then like what probably like 20 minutes of talking straight up if i turn on the radio right now i bet you it's mostly talking now watch watch them prove me wrong okay there's some music and it's also sucks there's only like four channels right my tripping or back home has so many channels. Okay, here we go. Talk, talk. All they're gonna do is talk. Infomercials and talking. Just talking about nothing. Look, talking, talking. More talk. This isn't AM. This is FM radio. Okay. Okay, here we go. Some music. Some music. More talk. Same channels. More talk. So yeah, it's like nothing on the radio. Nothing on TV. Nothing anywhere. No type of entertainment. It's 
So that's why I be up late night watching movies, watching American drama shows, waiting for that new Walking Dead to come out, watching football at 1.30 in the morning. Gotta do what I gotta do. Stay entertained. And uh, what else, what else? So everybody tripping on Kaepernick for not standing, now everybody else is I guess taking a stand and not standing, you know, which I support. If I was an athlete right now, I'd be supporting, I'd be kneeling right along with anybody else. You know? Because, uh, you see that? You notice how they flash their blinkers? What they were saying right there is thank you. somebody off or somebody let you get in front of them or something like that and you want to say thank you or sorry then what you do is you flash your blinkers to the person behind you just like that just like that lady did but anyway yeah back to Kaepernick these motherfuckers man they try and make this into some some what <laughs> some uh military issue. It doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with the military. People just drawing at straws to get to try to rally support for their dumbass claim that Kaepernick is racist. How can you be racist or prejudiced against your own country when you're standing up against racism and prejudice? Or should I say taking a seat or kneeling to racism and prejudice. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. How can you actually say that he doesn't have a valid argument or a valid dispute or a valid beef against this country? that these cops are doing, the African Americans and people of color is ridiculous. And not even to say it's not only African Americans, it's not only people of color, but still. Take this out the out the stand. It's gonna be shaking and all that stuff. And everything. This is some, some instrumentals now. Some of my old beats. I gotta get back into producing, man. But I just don't have the time. I don't have the time to sit there and make beats anymore. I barely have enough time to sit and write raps, which is stressing me out to say the least. I got so many songs I want to do, so many songs I want to record, but uh, I just don't have the time. Don't have the time. But be patient with me. If I owe you something, if I owe you a song, if I owe you a collab, it's going to get done. Some of these roads in the mountains, straight up, I don't know how it's two lanes. I don't know how they do it. You might notice for all my folks back home, also, I'm on the other side of the road. It took a while to get adjusted to this. Being on the left side of the road, the steering wheel on the right side of the car, there's the monorail, riding by. This is Coppola, Central Road. Pollution out here, man. Pollution in this specific specific area, uh, Kita Kyushu, is crazy. It's the only thing I hate about it. And I used to never get sick in America. Never get sick in America. But now 
it seems like I'm getting sick like every, you're probably hearing in my voice, probably like every, I get sick probably like every three months out of here, man. I never had any allergies, now they talking about allergies, all types of shit. I don't know, I, it's gotta be the pollution out here in this area. Pollution, it's ridiculous. If you go out on my balcony and bare feet and you come back in the house, Straight up, no joke, your feet are black. Straight up, pitch black, about as black as this taxi suit. So I'm looking to get about this area. As much as I like it, <coughs> excuse me, as much as I like it, I don't know, I can't take the pollution right here, man. They have all types of construction uh, factories out here and stuff. I wish I could show you all these kids walking across the street during like elementary school, raising their hand when they cross the street out here. Kids are told to raise, put their hand high up in the air. One hand, I think, either right or left hand, put it all the way up in the air. So it's like probably like 50 kids just running across the street with their hands in the air and yellow hats on. Some of y'all can come out here and visit me one day, straight up. I need my folks out here. I need my own boys. start being more active getting tired of Facebook so I'm about to start just posting my thoughts and things and like that and stuff like this on YouTube so make sure you subscribe check me out I'm about to get up out of here head back home once I get make a left up here be back to the crib so I'll check y'all out if you want me to do anything if you want me to film anything if you don't got any questions about what I'm doing in Japan, how Japan is, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them for y'all. Alright. So, I'll get with y'all. Peace.